I have my copy here. It says, I don't believe in humans. It has a unicorn on it. It's great. I'm ready to go. Let's do this thing. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be going over five things that I wish I knew before becoming a game developer on Roblox. I've been on Roblox for seven years as a developer and I have faced a lot of failure and a lot of struggle. I have learned a lot of really useful information. Today I'm going to share with you some of these really useful tips. If you like these kinds of videos, I would encourage you to hit subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you can see more content from me. Okay, let's start off with number one, starting small. I used to come up with these huge ideas that would take a year to actually develop them. And basically they just would not work out at all. I would put a lot of pressure on myself to finish a game. Nobody would ever actually see the game because I would take forever to release it because I was choosing such a large idea. And it, I would just never get to the moment where I would actually be able to share it with anybody. So it was kind of like lonely for one thing. It was discouraging for another thing. I also never learned anything from these projects that I would start because it would never see the light of day because I would choose to start big projects at the beginning of my game developer career. It just would never work out. So for the first thing that I want you guys to know is to start small. When you start small, you wanna choose a game that might take a month to make, one month to three months, I would say, just so that you can get content out there share it with the world, get feedback, and then come back to it later and make adjustments so that you can actually learn from what you're creating and get games out there a lot quicker. It's just a lot more motivating that way. Number two, it is a marathon, not a race. This is something that I only really just recently realized. I have constantly been pushing myself past my limits for like seven years now. So I would just constantly be working, I would never give myself any breaks. I would create expectations that I would never meet. I would just think I can do this. I can never sleep and always work and never have fun and just get everything out at a very fast speed only to realize that this kind of mentality only causes you to get burnt out because you will not meet those expectations that you have set for yourself. And when you don't meet them, you're like, what did I do wrong? Why can't I actually release my game I'm nothing, I'm worthless, but that's not true. It's just that you're human and you need to be able to take time for yourself so that you can create actually like great content, well thought out content and release your games at a more reasonable pace. You're gonna be doing this forever and you cannot push yourself past your limits every day for the rest of your life. It's not good for your body and it's not good for your mind. Number three, I think it's important as you're starting out as a game developer to utilize the Roblox library as much as possible. Whether it's to help you become a better programmer, you want to look at free model scripts and open them up, make them work again, understand why they're structured the way that they're structured so that you can in turn become a better programmer yourself. Another thing, when you start off, you're probably starting off solo and you're going to want to get your content out as fast as possible as I mentioned before. So by utilizing the Roblox catalog, you can find free assets that you can just plop in your game so that you can prototype your game and get it out to an audience as quick as possible. If you do this, you're gonna get feedback quicker and you're going to prevent getting burnt out because you're trying to wear so many hats at once. It's just stressful and I've been there. I've worn all the hats. I've done the building, UI, the scripting. Sometimes I would do animating. It was just like a lot of work. Those games that I started never released all the way today. Except for my droplets, I released that alone. But as I mentioned before, I think in the talk that I gave, I was burnt out for a year after that. So it was not exactly helpful because I could not, like after I got my content out there, people were in there and they were playing, they were giving me feedback, but I couldn't actually bring myself to work on the game and listen to the feedback because I was just so tired from trying to release an entire game on my own in three months. It hurt me for a very long time and it took me a really long time to make a comeback from that. But I am doing it now and I'm having fun and I've hired lots of people to work with. And if I didn't hire other people to work with, I would definitely be utilizing free assets on the internet because not necessarily free assets, but like I would purchase assets or do whatever I need to do to get my game out there without actually pushing myself past my limits because I know what my limits are and if I reach them, it's not a good time for anybody. <laughs> Number four, we're on four now. You should start sharing and documenting your work as a game developer as soon as possible. Now this can be through joining 
Twitter and just posting your work on there. It can be doing dev blogs, which I'm really interested in doing at the moment. It can be just like your own personal portfolio. You can create a website. Basically just start documenting because you'll be able to see your progress as well as be able to share that with other people. Because if you're sharing your work, it's a lot more motivating. I love people telling me, wow, that's so cool. That's awesome. How do you do that? Like that feels good when I'm just like in an office alone working on something and I don't get to share it with anybody. It's a little lonely. Just have a way for you to share your work with people. It makes work a lot more fun. Number five, last one on the list, join the developer community. Build connections because you are doing a job that is very risky. Through this job, you're gonna have a lot of failures. You're gonna need to learn a lot of things and it's just not fun if you're doing it all alone. If you're going out there and you're making connections within the community, you can start teams. Teams are so good. I mean, like you can be a solo developer if you want, that's cool. But I've noticed that working with a team has just been insanely helpful because you learn a lot from other people and their own experiences. You get higher quality content because people are focusing on what they're talented at. There's just, it's just great. It's a good time for you to be working with other people. How do you join the developer community? Well. If you aren't on Twitter, then you're not in the developer community. I mean, this is where people seem to be most active. You can follow lots of really talented people. You can follow me. I share lots of really cool things, new videos as well. And there's just like so many really awesome people out there that want to see your work and they want to help you grow. I don't know. I've seen like tons of people like start off with, with like 20 followers. Then one of the really big developers will come out and be like, holy crap this person just made this awesome thing, go look at them, go support them, and then they blow up. It's great. We love like bringing people in and showing off their work because there's just so much talent in the world and everyone deserves to have their work be seen. So again, just try to join a community. If you can't get into the developer forums right now, again, Twitter is great for that. Be sure you're joining a community so that you can start sharing your work and building connections. For the final tip, yes, I added a sixth tip I wanted to make sure that I included five tips for all people. This sixth tip is mostly for girls in the developer community. I just want you to know that you are going to go through a lot of... Oh, my, my screen turned off. Go back. Thank you. You're going to be dealing with a lot of people who are going to criticize you. They're going to say people only care about your work because you're a girl. They're going to basically question your ability. Uh, they're gonna bring you down, they're gonna tell you that this is not a job for a girl. You're gonna deal with a lot of that. I deal with a lot of that, I still deal with a lot of that. It's just part of being a game developer. But what you need to realize is, what you're doing is inspiring and it's brave and it's going to help bring a whole new generation of game developers who are women. That is beautiful because we are seeing a lot more diverse content from that. If you ever feel discouraged by what people are saying, just remember that you are setting an example for a whole other generation of girls who make games, girls who code, all of that kind of stuff. Like, just don't let it bring you down. Ignore those people. Those people don't matter. You're great and you're doing something and you're rocking at it and you're strong and I love you for it. And if you ever want to reach out to me for some advice, I am here because I love to help people. Growing the developer community, I'm very passionate about making games on Roblox. I'm very passionate about bringing meaningful experiences to the world. I share that with as many people as possible. So with that said, if you guys want to see more content from me about game development, about mental health, about anything that I am passionate about, then you guys should like this video because it supports my channel, it helps me reach more people, and also subscribe, hit the notification bell, because if you do that, then you'll be able to see more content from me very easily. Follow me on all of my social media as well. That's all I really wanted to share with you guys today. Go out there and make some games. Don't let failure discourage you. Failure is a great part of learning, and it's only gonna get you closer to your success and things that you want to achieve through making games honestly, or just anything in life. This is good for that. My computer keeps acting up right now. It's funny. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Thank you for watching.